This is a, uh, a video for cleaning uh, the voice coil gaps of both the CXs and also the XS drivers. Uh, first things that you want to do uh, when you when you do this is you want to pull both face plugs out, you know, whichever driver you have on a, on a CX uh, is a matter of just simply unscrewing, pulling your piece out. I find that popping the face plug just simply drive, put your clips in there and pop it and you can get your the piece out on the new X driver. Uh, it's just a matter of just simply unscrewing it. It's a little smarter over the years. So <clears throat> the first thing we want to do is we want to inspect the gap area to see if there is any uh, physical debris that you can see in here. Uh, sometimes you know you'll notice that there's like dust or maybe some steel or something uh, in that area. The next thing you do is you want to take a piece of tape. It could be masking tape. It could be many different types of tape. Blue tape works really good too. Uh, but you do want something that's pretty thin. What I like to do is I like to take the non-sticky surface side and put it into the inside, put it so that it's against the voice coil on the inside. And then just simply take your finger and rub around like this. You want to do it at kind of an angle so you can dig up any debris that's inside and then pull it out. <clears throat> make sure that, uh, and this could be the same thing for the X series, uh, you want to make sure that uh, you Put, the, put it down as far as you can get it in the, in the coil and then rub it around as much as possible. You may have to repeat this several times. The easiest way to find out if you've got anything in there is to simply hook it really quickly up to the door and listen to it. If there's no crunchy sound or anything on it, then you've obviously gotten rid of the debris. At this point, <clears throat> you want to go ahead and, and reassemble. When you're reassembling the drivers, you want to make sure that the face plug is sitting in the center without any problem. The, the X is pretty easy to do. The CX is, um, over the years, uh, this is a, uh, a plastic style piece. And so uh, this, the, well actually, this is not perfectly in the center. So you may have to rotate it slightly to making sure that the gap is uh, uh, appropriate all the way around and then snap it into place. But other than that, that's all you need to do. Um, and for the, the very <clears throat> worst case scenario where you can't seem to get anything, you can take a little bit of air and blow inside there to push the debris down at the bottom of the magnetic field. And then that way it'll also get rid of the problem too. But uh, that is always the last, you know, last.